Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. Now, no, this video is not about this tank, the Death Star 183, but I've got that there for a reason. Because when you talk about the maddest tanks in Tier 10, the craziest tanks in Tier 10, the first thing that jumps to mind is the Death Star because it's got a big derpy gun and it has the ability to one-shot most things into oblivion. However, this is a notoriously difficult tank to play. It's not an easy tank. And I, whilst I have the moniker on it of, you know, it's a hero to zero tank, I don't think it's the maddest. I think something else is the maddest tank in Blitz. And it is this. This tank is madder than a bag of cats. I mean, this is a tech tree tank. It's not a hero to zero tank, not really. And those pros out there, those super duper unicorns out there will make this thing the bane of your life in tier 10. And that is why I'm doing this video. Now, Wargaming recently rebalanced some tanks and this one is overlooked. And I think this one is in dire need of a rebalance. Not that rebalancing it will make much of a difference. The top players out there are still gonna roll out and they're still gonna smack you from here to kingdom come. But why is it that I think this tank is the maddest, craziest, stupidest tank in tier 10? Well, I'm gonna jump into a couple of replays and I'm gonna explain that one to you. And I'm not gonna go through all the stats, etc., etc. I'm just gonna play this one by ear, off the cuff, ver you know, ad lib all my way through, and you'll see what I'm trying to get at. Okay, so why do I think the TVP 5051 is a mad lad? Why do I think it's a bit of a crazy tank? I mean, on paper, this is nothing to write home about. It hasn't got the best DPM of any of the mediums in tier 10. It's got a DPM of 2,653. All the rest are pushing close to 3,000. Some are even exceeding that. It's got pretty decent penetration, but by far not the best. It hasn't got the best alpha damage. It doesn't even have the best rate of fire, to be honest with you. And it has a shockingly bad reload. But <laughs> this is the thing. This thing is got four shells, each shell dishing out 310. And the interclip, i.e. the time between each shell is one and a half seconds. That means you are able to dish out a shed load of harm very, very quickly. Now contrast that with the likes of the AMX-50B. That has like two and a half seconds, yeah. Or contrast that with the FV4005, that has two seconds into clip reload. I mean, this thing is just crazy. It is fast. Okay, it's got pretty bad armor, to be honest with you. I mean, on its side, you can HE this thing to oblivion, but that's not how you're meant to play this tank. This tank is meant to be played like a medium. It's meant to be mobile. You're meant to move it around the map. And you're meant to be able to put that derp, it's not really derp, you're meant to put down that ton of damage in a very, very quick amount of time and decimate your enemies. I mean, this tank has the ability, in certain respects, to almost, literally almost, one shot, as in one magazine, one clip, quite a few tanks in tier 10. I mean, it is totally mad. I mean, in real terms, you have got the ability to knock out 1,250 burst damage in, you know, four, four seconds or six seconds in real terms. I mean, that is just absolutely mad. And OK, you may have a reload of 23 and a half seconds of that magazine, but, you know, you're dishing out 1,250 in six seconds. I mean, you know, look, the 183 dishes out that kind of damage if you load up its hash and you get a good roll and that dishes it out in like 25 seconds or whatever it is this thing is absolutely crazy and then when you throw on its mobility its accuracy i mean the aim time is 1.2 seconds that is the best aim time of any medium tank in tier 10. And if you're not rolling out in this thing and you're not doing an average damage of at least 2,500, you're doing something wrong. Uh, because you can have, you, you, I mean, this thing is just craziness on, on, on tracks. 
I don't want this thing nerfed. Don't get me wrong. I mean, if you nerf this thing, then it won't be the tank that it's meant to be. But it needs a little bit of a rebalance. And maybe one of the things Wargaming should consider is changing that into clip reload from one and a half seconds to maybe two seconds. Possibly even increase the aim time from 1.2 to maybe 1.5 or 1.6. Just make it that little bit more balanced because I don't think this one is truly balanced. Now, I was speaking to some of the guys in my clan, Vale, about this, and they were like, oh, if you rebalance this thing, if you change the interclip reload, and if you change the aim time, it ain't going to make an ounce of difference to the best players. And that is true. It, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But the fact of the matter is this, okay, mediocre players can do well in this tank. It, it is pretty unforgiving in a lot of respects. And that makes the tank, especially when there's two of them in a platoon, pretty difficult to counter and i'm not saying the tank is broken it's not broken it's not op in the right hands it is an absolute nightmare but it's neither broken or op but it i do think it just is slightly out of balance out of whack and it just needs that little bit of tinkering to bring it back in line i mean look at that we did 3800 damage take four kills in a tier 10 game this is why this thing is completely crazy. You know, we only get, look, look at this, we only get a second class. I mean, that is how mad this tank is. Some people out there are churning out shed loads of damage in this thing. And I mean shed loads of damage. I mean, we're top, top damage there. But the best damage, I mean, we've had people do over 8K in this darn thing, almost 9K. It is crazy i mean even when you get yourself into trouble in this tank you can actually get yourself out of trouble pretty darn easily i mean i i made some really terrible initial moves here on falls creek in the tank it hasn't got great gun depression okay it's not the best in that respect but as i told you it's got amazing burst damage number one and it's got pretty decent mobility number two the armor is a bit weird okay the turret is is okay but I, i'm playing it like a muppet at this moment in time i admit and if you play a tank like a muppet you're gonna get punished especially in tier 10 but it's what happens next that really sets this tank apart because you know, look at that bye bye t62 okay he was in a bad spot and i was able to farm him to oblivion but watch this i mean we're just able to literally pop in once we reload it and, and shove a load of pain onto the enemy. And the enemy are not Muppets. They're not bad players. They're good players um, on the enemy team. It's just that we're in a tank that is able to put down a lot of pain very, very quickly in a very quick succession. Like I said, 1,250 in real terms is what you can churn out in this thing in like the space of six seconds. When you're on that long reload, all you gotta do is run away, find a safe place, wait for your reload to come in, turn around, then run back or relocate. And that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing in a minute. So I'm gonna give some sh shots into this yo and look how accurate the gun is. Okay, that was a bit of a bad shot, but watch this one. Boom, go straight in. So we've we've only dished out 1,469 in this game, which is pretty terrible for a TVP, not gonna lie. However, like I said, once you're on your long reload, just relocate, you know, whilst you're reloading, and use your mobility, use your camo profile, because the camo profile on this thing is pretty, pretty nice. We're losing this battle, but I have faith in the TVP. I have faith in the amount of harm the TVP can dish out. And I have faith that it's pretty difficult to counter once it gets up to speed and going. Hello, STB-1. Goodbye, STB-1, I say. Bang, there we go. Side scraping ain't gonna help you against TVP. <laughs> Again. Reload, get out of dodge, go the long way around, make sure they don't rush you, and you'll be fine. You can get back into the fray, and you can start putting the pain back onto the enemy. We're now at 2,100. We've taken two kills. We're not setting the world on fire. Not yet. And this is why I think this tank really needs a little bit of rebalancing. It doesn't need a nerf, as I said. It needs a rebalance. Hello, Vickers. You've got almost all your hit points. Or, actually, you had almost all your hit points. Because I managed to land every single shot into you. And I took almost all your hit points that you had. 
Back on my reload, only one tank left. Now we're up to 3,151. We have a very healthy yo to deal with. Can the TVP handle it? That's what I'd like to know. Well, it's a TVP, and if you play it like correctly, you will handle almost any situation thrown at you and the enemy will be left scratching their heads wondering what the hell just hit them and here we go hello yo there's number one there's number two what about number three? Oh, we can't get it in but number four will do a charm and there we have it 4125 damage just like that in four minutes and that's what this tank can do it is mad it is crazy and it is bloody beautiful if you haven't rolled out in this tank or you haven't got this tank in your garage or you're not prepared to roll out in this tank then you're missing out because get in there before wargaming tinker with it because inevitably they will there's no way that this tank is going to stay in this sort of position they're going to change something. It'll either be the aim time or it'll be that interclip reload time of one and a half seconds, which is where all that pain really comes at that one and a half seconds. Everything else on the tank is perfectly fine. The arm is fine. The mobility is fine. Everything else is fine. So if I was you, I'd get in there whilst the iron was hot because it will change in time. The TVP, it is a pretty mad lad. Let's not kid ourselves here. Probably maybe, okay, it's it's a toss up between this one and the 183. But you know what? With the current state that the game is in, I would roll out in this every day of the week rather than the AMX 50B because this thing is just obscene when you compare it to the 50B. And that's the thing. Wargaming tinkered with the 50B and, you know, I understand. I mean, the 50P effectively got a nerf. This thing has not been tinkered with yet. It will be, so be mindful of that. Anyway, that has been my mad lad in tier 10, the TVP 5051. By all means, comment and everything below. I've been Fujit, and I want to hear your views. Until the next time, guys. <laughs> what a mad lad. Um, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.